Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about five products from The Ordinary which are not good for dark skin. And I know you guys are wondering, what? No, not The Ordinary. I promise you guys, these products are just not great for us. Um, I know that you guys love The Ordinary, I do too, but that doesn't negate the brand as an amazing brand. It just means that some of the products that they offer are better suited for fairer skin tones or people that are not melanin rich like us, okay? Now, just because I say these five products are not great if you're darker skin tone, doesn't mean that if you're a professional of any kind, you can't use it. A lot of these products that I'm going to be mentioning are better suited for people that have an expertise when it comes to skincare and the use of skincare ingredients. All right, so the first product I'm going to be talking about today is the 30% AHA plus 2% BHA peeling solution. I'm sure you guys saw this one coming. This product is very popular on TikTok, <laughs> like super popular. Everyone in their mom's stores buy this product. It's super popular for reasons that are good, okay? This product is a peeling solution, meaning it helps speed up the process of dead skin cells removal from the surface of the skin. Okay, so why is this product in my list of do not buys for melanin rich people? This product does contain 30% AHA. The recommended percentage for AHAs in our product is 5 to 10 percent for in-home use. So clearly this product is 20 percent way over that recommended percent used by the FDA. This product also contains five different types of AHAs. It contains glycolic acid, lactic acid, citric, and tartaric acid. Although citric and tartaric don't really penetrate the skin, lactic acid is also a pretty active AHA. So for those reasons, I'm out. <laughs> I literally just thought of Shark Tank as I was talking about that. <laughs> So even more reason to not use this product in melanin rich skin tone is because of that 30% AHA like I mentioned before. 30% AHA is super aggressive on the skin. Glycolic acid particles are so small when it goes into the skin, it triggers those melanin cells and tells it, hey, there's an irritation in the skin. There's something going on and triggers it to produce more melanocytes, which is not what you want. You want to get rid of hyperpigmentation and dark spots. So you'd be doing the opposite of this if you use this product and trigger those melanin cells. So number two product I'll be talking about today is the lactic acid 10% AHA. I mentioned this one because it very much correlates to the first product I talked about which is the 30% glycolic acid. This product has 10% lactic acid. Again 10% is at that high mark where it could be really aggressive to the skin especially with melanin rich people it could trigger the production or the hyper production of those melanocyte cells. So 10% is a little too high to be used. I would advise to use the 5% one. They also have a 5% lactic acid. I think that one would be a much better, much subtle product to use on the skin. They also have a Mandelic 10% AHA. Mandelic acid, like I said, if you watch my AHA videos up here, Mandelic acid is amazing because it penetrates the skin slowly. It has the bigger molecule of all three popular AHAs. So it penetrates the skin a lot slower and delivers. So it's a lot more gentle on the skin and doesn't irritate the skin. All right, number three product is their Grand Active Retinol Emulsions. Grand Active Retinol is an ester of retinoic acid. It's made to act like retinoic acid. It's made to act like a prescription version of a tretinoin. Retinoic acid is the same thing as tretinoin, which is the most potent form of retinoids. The reason this one is on my list is because when it comes to retinoic acid, I advise, especially to someone of color, to go to a dermatologist and get a prescription. Grand active retinoid is relatively new on the market, so there's not much research done on it, and a lot of people have complained of it causing irritation on their skin just because it's not well studied, so the substance set of people that use grand active retinoid are pretty much some of the first few people to use grand active retinoid really so i advise to instead of being a scapegoat to grand active retinoid just go to a dermatologist and get an actual retinoid as an expert that knows exactly what your skin needs number four product on my list is the 100 l ascorbic acid powder now this one i kind of debated putting it on my list but let me see as you guys know is a great antioxidant it helps brighten the skin it just has really great amazing properties but with this powder i put it on here because the really really potent L-ascorbic acid that's directly touching the skin and when it comes to melanin skin the more gentle the product is the more likely of it to work and when I mean work work well not just work while giving us post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation we want something that's not going to further irritate our skin while it's working but something that will go into our skin slow and steady and give us the desired results that we're seeking. So for that reason, I do not recommend this one. All right, so number five and final thing on my list here is the niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. Okay, so this one I put on my list because niacinamide works great at two to 5%. So anything that's greater than 5% 
could potentially irritate the skin again triggering those melanocyte cells to produce more melanin that could potentially cause more irritation inflammation and hyperpigmentation which is not what we want so stick to an isonamide between two to five percent and you get amazing results might not happen as quickly but over time you will love the result that you get on your skin all right you guys that's all that i have for you guys in this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll make another video where i'll talk about five best products from the ordinary that you could use on melanin skin to give you the best results that you probably desire thank you so much for watching this video like this video be sure to subscribe you know the deal join the family i'm happy to have you guys here leave a comment on what you think about all these products and let's talk about it. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. See you next time. Bye.